Hey YouTube, in this episode, we get metal. We start putting up the soffit, we pour the driveway, and I put a 50 amp box in. Hey, stay tuned. It's gonna be a good episode. Welcome to my life. YouTube, hey, uh, Chad's here, and they're gonna pour this pad. It's uh, quite the slope, especially here on the far side. I don't know if this uh, autocorrect uh, horizon autocorrect is gonna screw you up or not, but you can kind of see what he has to do here. Oh, oh my bad. You want to be famous, now you are. I am. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Look at that plastic working already. Yeah. It is. <laughs> well, all right. Oh man, that stuff works, doesn't it? It's all that solar coming off on there, yeah. So I can't believe how much that double bubble does. I thought it was kind of like, well, I can't afford real insulation, so. It helps. Yeah, it definitely helps. You can feel that stuff radiate off there.
Hi right, YouTube, hey it's getting late but we're still going at it and Chad's brushing the concrete now. It's a long reach. That's a lot, that much. Don't pull it. Perfect. See it's already so yeah, it's going sideways, yeah. Yeah. It is. Who put those motors right there? Yep. What's oh, fine? All right, YouTube. So it's the next day, and uh, man, I, I kind of slept this morning. I slept. Uh, I think it was six forty-five before I even woke up. Uh, woo! I was a. Uh, I was beat. So it's a good day. So the younger guys are coming. Uh, well, I think Alan and uh, and um, Dakota are coming this morning. They're going to cut the reliefs in. I went ahead and did some measuring this morning, so I lined it up. Uh, it is an angle down here, so I just lined it up with the top of the garage. So the horizon, horizontal lines will be even with the garage floor. Um, this is a big curve. So but anyway, I got that all lined up this morning. It all looks pretty good to me. Um, we have a couple little rough patches, but it was so tough we were brooming and the broom would just not get here and he's he's stretched out as far as he can you know whatever but uh so we had to do a little brooming on the top here um we did a little wetter uh, so it looks white but i think it'll dry out the same but just really looks great i mean and the hill is really not that bad i thought it was gonna be ferocious i mean it's a hill don't get me wrong but i just i just saw it as man you're not even gonna be i mean it'll be like dump truck trailer trying to get you know like such an angle but Honestly, I think we'd just drive the motorhome up in into it. To be honest with you, there, there's quite a bit of room. And then we kind of made this a little wider and jogged in. Went back and forth about how I was gonna, we were going to do that. Um, but I think this is the way to go because you're going to be taking the wide turn to bring it back to get it into this garage door, especially when you have the trailer. Um, so I think it's going to work out great. I, I almost thought it was unusable, but uh, now that it's got concrete in it, uh, that's not bad at all. I mean, it is a hill. I mean, it is a hill, but it is still drive through -able. drive through a bull. That's an interesting word. I should get paid for that word. Anyway, um, yeah, and my little drain system came out good. Uh, originally, uh, they were going to put a pipe straight out, and I was like, man, that's not going to have any concrete on it. You know, it's going to be a quarter-inch concrete. That was just going to crack. So we ended up, I ended up digging it out that morning early. I think it was, I don't even know what time it was. It's like 5 o'clock, 5.30 in the morning or something. I came out here. I had thought of it in my sleep, just bring it in, bring it up at a 45. I actually had the 45 in my garage left over. Um, so that worked out great. So my pipe's in there and bring it 45. Now I will cut this off, you know, once this is, once it all dries up and we pull the forms, I'll kind of just manicure that around so that it just goes down and then drains out. And then of course I'll run that out into the cliff like I did the others eventually. But uh, that's going to work out really good. Uh, and of course, I still got that grading. I think I put it over there. Yeah, it's over there. Um, to, I'll have to cut to put in here. Uh, so basically, you got the form, and then you got a one inch board on each side. When we pull this out, there'll be a one inch uh, lip in there. Oh, well, right here on each side, there and there. And then those grates will sit right on that ridge. So I think that's going to work out great. Uh, and it definitely is going to catch water. I mean, it's already catching water. The water that comes off the field actually hits that already and follows that concrete. The uh, footer down, um, so I know it's going to work. 
um, it's going to catch a lot of water. But what I was really worried about is the water that hits this and just comes down super fast. I didn't want that washing in the garage. Um, so it'll catch this slip and take it that way. So I think it's going to be working out really well. Um, big added expense, but um, in my mind, necessary. And of course, once I get the, uh, this is all done, I'll come back and I'll cut these. Uh, I'll probably put a collar on it just to dress it up some, but I'll cut them nice and uh, straight, you know, and then uh, uh, go from there. I thought about cutting them flush, but I don't think I like that. I think I want to get a little, have a little bit, and then I'll put a collar on there. So if it does get hit or broken, I can just pull that collar off and put another one on there. I won't even glue it down. I'll just have it there so I can swap them out and dress them up if uh, they get damaged to them, but they shouldn't, but you never know what's going to happen. So yeah, that all came out well. Um, yeah, I'm pretty thrilled with this. And then on the other side, uh, so we were <laughs> way over ordered. Uh, I don't know how that how that happened or what happened, but he's like, do you want to just add something? I was like, yeah, let's add this, the uh, little sidewalk to the front. He's like, well, I didn't have that flexible piece in there. And I'm like, well, how much are we talking? And it was like three yards. So I was like, oh my gosh. Um, so we, I had a big pile of gravel here. So we got it, they hit one of the, uh, my, uh, Jared, the, the uh, carpenter or the builder, jumped in the uh, Bobcat and I got my excavator out here and we just got that hard pack pushed as fast as we could. And then uh, framed this up with a lean and then now I have an extra pad here. Um, that was not really, I mean, that's definitely over the budget. Um, you know, it wasn't even, I don't know. Uh, so, but nice to have, I mean, the whole dump truck will fit on the pad when I wash it off now, so I suppose just the front or whatever. Uh, so it is nice to have, but, uh, but that's a, that's a costly nice to have that, uh, um, yeah, we're really, well, we're over budget for sure, but, uh, we're really pushing the lines of what we should be spending at this point. Um, but it is what it is. Uh, couldn't let it go to waste. It was just going to go back to the, and there's actually still some on the truck, you know, not a whole lot, but there's still a little bit left on the truck. So, uh, yeah, we got an extra pad in anyway. Um, unexpected, but it is what it is. At least we uh, made use of the money instead of just throwing it away. Yep, so uh, soft it really going in good. Um, I have a time lapse of it, but uh, I really hadn't talked about it till now. Uh, but it looks really good to me. Um, they're doing a great job. Got that all the way down to the front corner. Man, the brick looks wonderful. Uh, now uh, Marvin uh, Cochran, man, wonderful, wonderful Mason. Um, yeah, so they made it to the corner here, I guess, and uh, it's looking good. They'll still need to cap that, whatever, but um, looks like they're doing a really good job on that. And then uh, um, Scotty uh, and Jared were working on the porch here, so they got that going on. Looks really good. It's looking really good. And they're adding blocks in between them all. That's kind of what's slowing them down, I think, but... Uh, they're moving along, so we, a pretty good day there. We had uh, just getting the brick done alone is phenomenal. So, yeah, Marvin did a great job. And I think that's about all the updates. I mean, we were working on putting double bubble up there, and uh, man, that double bubble. I don't know if you've ever stood around that stuff. When the sun hits that, if you're on the other side, man, you're getting radiated. I mean, it's like getting a suntan. It's ridiculous. So. I think there's a lot to that tin pole stuff. I never really thought much about it, but um, I think that stuff really works. But it's really looking good, for sure. All right, well, until the Gun Creek guys get here, I guess that'll be about it. We're gonna do some clean, or I'm gonna do some cleanup. My wife's gonna run the 84 lumber for me and get some more concrete chairs because we ran out and had to start using rocks. Um, so she'll grab some of those. And then we should be good for the rest of the week. We will have to do a bunch of shopping for a uh, coil of metal and a bunch of other stuff. Um, my buddy Jim let me use his brake. So that was, that was pretty awesome. I'll have to rent that. Um, so yeah, today is pretty much cleanup day. Um, Monday I'll get that last pieces of brick edge that we need and then some, J, some separate J channel. But the brick edge that they sent was too short. It only came about halfway across the brick. So the other is coming, and they'll come over the brick, and then the metal will go up. So, yeah, lots going on. Uh, busy, busy day. Um, yeah, I got a lot of cleanup to do. That's for sure. All right, well, that's it. Let me get back to work and uh, get, get cleaning up, which 
will be very boring for you, so I'm just gonna do it. And I'll talk at you later. Yep. Good morning, YouTube. Hey, it's a rainy, rainy, stormy day slash night. We've had some severe thunderstorms coming through, 45 for our winds. Uh, really not doing bad. I've lost a couple panels. Uh, this whole side was flapping. I got up there and retacked it down, so it's fine now. Um, but really not bad compared to the winds we've had. Um, well, I think part of it is the, wind, the rain is coming from the north, but that's not the way it looks on the radar, so I'm not sure what's going on there, if it's just swirling in here or what, but uh, it's really been pushing on that wall pretty good as the air tries to get out of here. Um, it should be coming at it, which is the weird part. Definitely got uh, a lot of rain. Of course, I got nothing blocking this, no door here or nothing. Uh, so the water is definitely uh, rolling in as it's blowing in whenever. Um, it is making its way right down to the drain, so that's fine. It's concrete's designed to do that. Uh, it'd be nice when I get walls up and a door, though, to get this thing uh, dried in. But uh, not bad. I mean, stable's been coming out in the corners there or whatever. But uh, really not. I mean, that, that wall takes a lot of wind when the wind comes in here. If there was a door there, I don't think we'd have as many problems. But um, yeah, so uh, today I should be going to get the metal. We'll see what time. I don't know that. Nobody showed up here, so I'm assuming <laughs> the builder has other plans. I wish he'd talk to me sometimes. Uh, so here I am. Uh, he did send me a text this morning and said he was working on the metal, but he didn't say he was or wasn't going to be here, so. All right, so that's my update. Uh, I don't even know what to tell you. Today's just kind of a bust, other than me going to get metal. Um, yeah. So I'll just chill. And uh, nothing really I can do. Wait for the call to go get metal, get metal. Whatever. Might do some electrical since uh, that all seems to be clear. So I'll probably do that. I'll probably run an electrical cable. I'm putting a 50 amp plug on this wall for the RV right there on that post. I got to run it from that corner. It's like 98 feet or something like that. So that'll be a good run. I am going to run a diagonal. I like my stuff being straight, but in this case, the less wire I use, the better off I am because you get voltage drop over distance and heat build up and all that stuff too. And for 50 amps, now I'm not going to be in here running the air conditioners in the, in the RV or anything like that, but I do want the uh i don't want my building to burn right so you, you the rule of thumb i uh from my understanding i'm not an electrician but from my understanding is uh that i can use six three wire uh less than 100 feet and if i go over that i need to jump up to four or you know so i guess i don't know if that's up or down it's up in size and down in number but um so i definitely want to try to stay under 100 feet because four is hard to get number one and then number two uh it's expensive so more expensive you know just the one roll it's a 125 foot roll that i bought and it's either buy it like that or or uh and then if i if i mean i ran the tape but if i'm close i'm gonna be short if i buy you know a shorter roll and then they didn't even have a 100 foot roll so 125 foot rolls in when you can buy it in so i'm gonna be wasting about 25 feet but uh <coughs> um but it was like 505 dollars so uh, expensive cable really expensive cable so all right well i think i'll do that because I really don't have anything else to do until he calls me. All right. All right, YouTube. Well, on this rainy day, uh, the storm has kind of subsided now, but uh, the guys have canceled. Uh, so I'm just taking this opportunity to run the 50 amp line uh, for the motorhome. So basically I got this 6.3 cable. And it's over here where the fuse boxes are the excess, but this is where the fuse boxes will be. And uh, so I'm just running it as straight as a line as I can across the top. So I'll come down this pole here, go through this wood, and then kind of come, I'll tack it on here somewhere or whatever, and then come up in here like that, back in the bottom of the box. I thought about uh, just tying it in through the top of the box. It is inside. Uh, but if I was to ever be spraying off the motorhome or something in here, I sure wouldn't want to get water down in there. So I think I'll just leave it through the bottom, drill it back up. I think that'll work best for me.
All right, so I'm tied across all the way, clamped all the way to the end. I got left a little kink in the top of that one, a little loose, I guess. I need to tighten that up just a bit. But uh, bring it all the way down into this corner, strap it all the way down to here. This is where the box will go. So that looks pretty good, goes all the way across. Could adjust a little bit. I kept adjusting it over and over again, but uh, it's pretty straight all the way across. I think if I go this way, I'm kinked that way. If I go that way, I'm kinked this way. So I'm going to live with this. And then I come all the way over here, and then straight down this wall, and then right to the box. There's our box. Now, I don't have it totally set in here yet. I still got to get the uh, clamp for the bottom. Uh, on the bottom of the box and then of course I'll cut my wires accordingly so some of that slack will come out but this gives you the idea of what I'm doing and we'll get it fixed up from there I think that'll be pretty good the motorhome can run across this